don't worry about where we're at today. Don't don't look at the background. We're, you know, we're not at a we're not at a public place. You can't get back here. Don't worry about where we're at today. All right. Don't worry about don't worry about what we have going on. Yeah, he was one. Right in front. There he is. Right there. Yep. Bring him up. That's a nice one. They got some nice length to them. About 17. Yeah, about 17. -er. That's nice. That's way back there. You got that one. Yeah. The... So flounder come in waves. They come in waves. They come in waves. They come in waves. And it kind of got a little slow for a second. And he has a big mouth. I'm saying he kinda... be big. Yeah. Man. Look at that one. Get bigger. They come in wave and, and it was kind of slow and now it kind of picked up. You know, we got a couple right back to back. But we never, I think we have, I say get slow, but I mean like you get, you throw one time and you don't get a hit, it's slow. Yeah. You throw two times, it's really slow. And that's just because how, how thick they are. But hey, you know what? I'm Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. This is a very good friend of mine, Eric. And we're out of flounder fishing. Flounder fishing, fishery is closed. You cannot keep, but we're not hurting them. It's like catch, it's so catch and release. Yeah. It's like if you're targeting bull reds or you're going out fishing with your buddies and you have no intention of keeping fish and you just catch and release all day. It, that's all we're doing, just catch CPR. and release. That's it. It's having release. having fun, practicing our technique. You know, the other day we brought I brought some patreons out. You know, we're just we're just out having a good time, catching, releasing, making sure that uh, you know, we don't want the flounders to to miss us too much. Here we go. It's all alright. He'll keep. Where you at? There you go. I was just trying to think which way I was going to flip it. A nice one. First keeper of the morning. You got one? Oh, I thought you said it. First keeper in the morning, little white goat, H2 Express J, uh, J Ed, J Hook, J Ed, got a little Shimano Nasky, and I got a lose today, rolling with the lose, speed track, picked that up at Academy for like 25, 24 bucks for a fishing reel, medium light, I'm sorry, medium fast, got this little guy here, come on, he about 15, 16, somewhere in there. Yeah, little guy. He's like, ah, you squeeze my neck. Yeah. Nice little guy, got a little sticker in his face. Little guy, I couldn't even tell it was a flounder. I thought yeah. I was coming up the bank or something, you know, the little drop off. That I was in the hole. Whoop! Yeah, there you go. That's a nice one. It's like they're all off to your left. That new, new school came through. Eric, touch me! Eric, touch me! Did I throw on one? I did. I just threw on one. I did. There you go. I was recording you. And I never even felt it. I just want to go work it right now. And there was a little chipper on there. The little babies out there. The babies are in the in the in the front. Oh, <laughs> dang man, that did not, huh? I said he stacked up right here in front of the rock. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. I see that boil. Yep. Get him up here. That's what you can see. That's a nice. That's a nice circle to him. Nice uh, oval, like shape. Don't, 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 don't. Nope. It wasn't a flounder. It felt like, oh, I think he got it. I think he picked yeah, it up. Yeah, that's what happened. Yes, that's what happened. He tapped it a couple times, and then I was going to go set the hook, and then he picked it up. It's got a little weight to him. I thought it was about 17. Yeah. 17 and quarter. Yeah, so he had to be 19. Yeah. That one old 
boy got that. That'd be 19. Yeah. Play. Man, what is going on? How fast you throwing these things back? What is going on? Uh, he kept playing with it. Then he finally took it. He kept playing with it, playing with it. Then he finally took it. Now look at you. Look how round this one is. Oh, he got little bugs on him. We can get those guys off. We don't. Hey, we ain't, I never sent him back with bugs on him. We ain't sending you back with no bugs on you, buddy. All right, so let's talk about technique. The most important thing you do is stay in contact with the bottom. Now, I'm fishing with a 3 8, three eight ounce chick head. Eric is, what are you, with a quarter today? Quarter. Eric likes a quarter. I like a little heavier. Um, because the heavier to me, it makes me slow down because I fish fast. I fish fast anyway. So the heavier makes me really slow down and keeps it on the bottom. And it's, I can actually fish a 3 8 faster than I can fish a quarter ounce faster because the 3 8 heavier it stays on bottom more so but eric really has a touch so what are you doing eric you're just popping it and bringing it in yeah I just, like the soft long ups and downs yeah and I, then i only you, pop probably three or four times in a, in a you pop series. three or four times and then stop yeah, and pause series, yeah. how long will you pause for uh maybe a second or two yeah okay so you pop three or four times, pause for a second or two, and then pop three or four times, and then pause for a second or two. Mm -hmm. And then right now you're dragging your, you're, you're pulling your rod tip to see if he's gonna latch on. Yeah. And then it looks like he finally did. Yeah. And now Harrison reel his rod tip down and then set the hook real hard. And that, that's all it really takes. And you, you keep it out of the danger zone for the flounder so it stays out of their out of their gills, it stays out of their belly. They don't get gut hooked. And then when you do that, you keep it in the mouth. And that's where you want it. So you got the hook coming through the 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 end of the jig head where the hook gets coming through the mouth right there and that's where you want it they're easier to take off they're easier to de-hook they're they're easier on the flounder harmless. you know and it's, it's right it's harmless see there he goes and talking i i won't pick up my line like a good one. i just felt that little bit of weight and i didn't i didn't hesitate on it i felt a little bit of weight so i set my hook and because I didn't wait, he's acting out. And because I didn't wait, you can see that the hook, sit, the, the hook, the jig head is in the front of the mouth. All right, let's see if we can get one off this, off this wall over cha. See if they move back in the wall. Oh, there you go. He came back for it. He picked it up. Go. Oh, that's a big one. That's a that's a fat one. Dude, this is like a circle. This thing's like a circle. Look at that. That's a nice That's the thing's like a circle. Look, I didn't even hook him. I got him right underneath the chin. He landed on it. See? I felt a bump. Yeah. And then I went to go check it and then he jumped and laid 18, back. He 18. laid back on it. He just But well, my thing is is like his his I guess you would call it his height. His height. So he's about about nine and a half inches yeah. that way 17 and a half oh, you scare me like yep he did he hit 18. He got that is a nice fish drop it back down here i don't want to drop it on a rock she's a big girl she grew up to be a big old 2020. all right let's go back Back to the well. Let's go, baby. Oh, you let it go. You have one? Yeah, you got pick it back up, let it go again. Look right there again. Right there again. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, it came off! Man, that was another good one. About the same side, look like about the same curvature. Get the f out of here! I ain't with you, man. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Can't tell Eric. Can't show Eric nothing. Just joking. I don't care. Get out of here! Now you're all in my way. No, I was not. I 100% was not. I was in the first. I was. 
I was in that first little dip. See, you little ass. Got my fish. Yep, that's the same one. That's the same one. Eric caught my fish. That is like the worst pot lick ever, dude. This guy right here, the worst pot lick ever. Look at that thing. Hey, I got an 18. That 100% my fish. I got an 18, y'all. That's 20. That's 20. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't even get my second cast on it. You see this guy? I haven't caught a 20. Oh my God. Hold it up, hold it up like a fish oh my God. before I push you in the water. Oh shit. Nice 20. 20 inch. Dude, look how thick she is. I swear. Man, she's so thick. But that was 100% the same fish. See how her nose is already bloody? See how she was already bloody from that first hook set? And then she turned around and bought like then she turned around a bit like not even two seconds. Yeah, not even a minute later. She bit again. So aggressive. 20, 20, 20. I mean, that's... All right, so this is a Bronco burrito. Never had a Bronco burrito before. I'm going to try a Bronco burrito. You know, I take it back. I had one, but it was so long ago. Yep, I might as well have never been never. You know what I mean? Bacon tastes good over there. Mmm. That's a nice big burrito too, Mal. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, yum. Mm. Yum. This why I don't go well. All right, everybody so that's gonna do it today you know i came out with eric jose ended up coming out for a little while he joined us um you know we get back in the truck we only spent like maybe three hours out here fishing and really slow kind of the slowest that we've seen it um i get it's not really it wasn't really slow i mean i don't know how many flounder do you think you caught eric uh, okay. i don't know together i'll say about 40. yeah about 40 and it's kind of sad when you say that's really slow yeah, that's but slow. that's slower than than y you see it or, or expect it and it happens like that some days you can be on them and you can catch like 20 30 a piece and other days you might split 40. so but you know what's all good you know all catch and release you know just out there having a good time learning the area fishing and you know just enjoying each other's company you know just catch and release is no different than when you're like catch and release and bull reds or you go out fish you know you don't plan on keeping any fish it's no different than that so you know just got to remember set that hook, hook early don't hurt the flounder don't fish with live or, or dead bait because they're really going to suck that the, the bait down because the last thing you want to do is is really hurt them we don't want to hurt them we want to just get them on on and off the hook as fast as we can mm -hmm. but thanks guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks <laughs>